Hello dear friends, this is your old Humphreys. I'm glad to be with you again to share with you about a five or ten minute message from the Word of God. And I'm glad you've tuned in all men. I pray God's blessings on you. I'm going to speak to you on the subject of uh, the way, the ways to please God. The ways to please God. You know the most important thing I think we can do is, is to please God. Not to please ourselves or to please others, but to please God. And here's some ways that we can do it. It's found in one verse in the book of Luke, the ninth chapter, verse 23. And it says, And Jesus said unto them, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Now here are three things, briefly, that will help us to please God if we can put them into practice and seek to find a way to please God. Number one, we need to recognize the importance of living this life to please God and not men. I like, I uh, heard that little uh, joke about the teacher was teaching some uh, children in uh, Sunday school and he told them about the uh, story of Lazarus and the rich man. And he said the rich man had everything he wanted and more than he ever needed, but poor Lazarus was a beggar laid at his gate and uh, he would not even give him a piece of bread. And uh, Lazarus died and went to heaven where there was abundance of all that he ever knew and need. The rich man died and he went to hell and was suffering in the dark and the flame. And then the teacher said, Now then, which would you rather be, Lazarus or the rich man? And they all thought a little bit. And probably one of the little boys said, I believe I'd rather be the rich man while I'm living and be Lazarus when I'm dying. <laughs> And you know that's too sadly true with many, many people today. They want to live like the rich man. They want to live and have everything they want. And they want to live and have all abundance of the things that money can buy. But when they come to die, they'd like to be ready to go and meet God. But you see, the way the Bible teaches is, if you really want to meet God, you've got to get ready down here and be ready for Him when you come to die. And so we need to recognize that we get ready by it, by believing in Jesus Christ as the Lord of our life. Believing in Jesus. I want you to believe in Jesus that he died for you, paid for all your sins, and rose again from the grave and is coming back. And if you believe in him and trust him as your Lord and Savior and call upon him and call upon his name, you shall be saved. Just pray a brief prayer and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe he died for me and paid for all my sins. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Amen. Pray that prayer, and you will live forever as a child of God. Now then, I want to show you here briefly how we can please God. First of all, we need to deny ourselves. Deny yourself. Deny yourself, Jesus said. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. You see, self is our big problem, dear friends. Self is my big problem. Now, I'm more of a problem to me than I am for anybody else is a problem to me. I'm my biggest problem, and that's because of self. We're born with it, and when we're redeemed by the blood, we still have old self there that can be tempted to, to do, again, what it wants to do instead of what God wants. And so we must learn to deny self. To deny ourselves is important because it's the way we learn to live for God. And therefore we do this. We deny ourselves by thinking more of God than we do of ourselves. We need to think more of God than we do of ourselves. And this is so important. Oh, praise God. Look, we, we need to think more of God. In the Bible over in the book of Proverbs in the third chapter it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. But acknowledge God in all your ways, and He will direct your path. And so you see, you need to acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He will direct your path. You need to get along with God from time to time and just sit there and talk to Him. You get along with Jesus and say, Lord, come to me. I come to you. Speak to my heart and show me thy will and reveal your way. Over in the Psalms 46 and 10, it says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted in the earth and I will be exalted in the, among the heathen. 
Be still and know that I'm God. You need to get alone and be still and quiet and listen for the Lord to speak to your heart. You got a problem, just leave it with Him. You got a, a decision you have to make, go alone and say, Lord, help me make that decision. Give me, give me your intuition right now that how I ought to, to make this decision. God will help you. He will help you. Sometimes He'll do it through others. There won't be any harm in asking others for their, their counsel too. But wait on the Lord and He will strengthen your heart. And that's so important. And so when we deny ourselves by thinking more of God than we do, we deny ourselves by thinking more of others than we do. We need to think about others. And the Bible says over in Philippians, the second chapter, Let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. And then it says, Let nothing be done through strife or, 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 or selfishness, but in lowliness of mind that each one of you uh, see... Uh, uh, esteem others better than themselves. Esteem others better than you are. Think of others that are even better than you are. That's difficult, but it's because we're proud. And humility can see it and do it and accept it. And then it says, Let not a man look, not, not every, every man look on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. And thus your mind will let this mind then be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. And so you become more like Jesus when you begin to think of others. He thought of others. He thought of you more than he did himself when he went to that cross and bled and died for you that we might, that you might be saved forever. And so it's important that you know that. And then when you think of others, I want you to think also of this fact, that we need to consider the, the fact that he said uh, over in this uh, scripture I read to you, first of all, it was deny yourself and then take up your cross daily. Taking up your cross is, is going God's way instead of your way. It's saying, God, I want to know what you want more than I know what I want. Lord, I want to know the way you're going more than I want to see the way I want to go. You must seek the will of God. And as you seek His will and His way, you will find it. The Bible says over in Ephesians, the fifth chapter, Redeem the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, don't be unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Be not drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. And so we need to see what the will of God is. That's following Him. That's, that's the cross. That's the cross. When He says, take up your cross, He's saying, take up that which denies self. Take up that which says to self, you're dead and your life is now hid with Christ in God. You're a Christian. You don't belong to the world anymore. You belong to the kingdom of God. And this old devil is not your master anymore, but Jesus Christ is your master, and God is your Holy Father. Let the Spirit of God help you see that truth and walk in it, and let the hand of God be good upon you today. This is the way we are to live. We're to live this way to please God. We're to live this way. Deny yourself. Take up your cross daily and follow me. Now, we need to do this daily. We need to do it every day. Over in Ephesians and the Philippians, the third chapter, Paul says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. I'm not yet perfect. But this one thing I do, I forget those things behind me. I reach forth today to what's before me, and I press on to the mark of the cry of Christ Jesus. And I do this daily. So this is what we're to do. Not worry about tomorrow. Praise God. Forget about yesterday as best you can. And just go today, today, today to work and live for God. To forgive, to love, to go on and know, believing God, praying, trusting God, reading His Word, and seeking to let the Spirit of God direct you. May the hand of God be good upon you. Dear friends, and bless you in every way. May these words be words of life to somebody out there. God loves you very much. He's speaking to you right now. And He's spoken to you through me. And He's saying, I want you. I want your life. I want you to come to me. I love you. And I'm going to bless you and help you to get through every situation and make it right. But you need to trust me every day. Even in bad times as well as good times. And God will bring you through. In the name of Jesus. Amen.